Hello, my name is Jamie Williams. I'm Senior Policy Advisor for Poverty Reduction for Islamic Relief Worldwide. I'm here at the CBA 14 conference. Um, obviously, I'm not anywhere but in my home office, uh, but I'm enjoying the event here. And I'd just like to mention a project that we've been working on in Indonesia. It's called Supporting Com Poor Communities to Claim Their Rights in Climate. Uh, and it, we're doing it in conjunction with the Consortium for Participatory Study and Development, Concepci, in Lombok Island, which is the West Nusa Tenggara project, uh, province of Indonesia. Uh, this is a place where um, the land is quite fertile, the lowlands are quite fertile, but the um, coastlands are, uh, the li livelihoods are quite difficult. People live on um, rain fed farming, uh, there are lobster uh, farmers and salt uh, collectors. And um, the climate ch is changing there and they're suffering a great deal from lowering yields uh, that are really threatening their livelihoods. We found this out because we did a very deep and thorough situation analysis and very deep community participation. And amongst uh, the findings about the situation, we found that some of the rain-fed farmers were actually positively deviant. And they were seemed to be able to adapt to the changing conditions better than others. What we found was that they were more able to access the weather-related information that was being made available from the national and regional bodies. This is because their education levels tended to be a bit higher. Those farmers that were able to, to um, I'm talking about weather forecasts um, primarily, but also uh, 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 meteorological projections and also geophysical projections because it's an area with uh, a great deal of earthquakes. These farmers were able to maintain their livelihoods and to adapt uh, to the changes that were coming. So what we found was that the weather related information was not easy to understand for many of the farmers and also the sections of the uh, lobster farmers and for the salt collectors. And so the project was essentially around making uh, uh, the information useful to the communities and to the users. We did this through a, something called a community-based climate school which produced curriculum and modules uh, and also helped to make locally relevant climate projections. So we were sort of equipping, building the capacity of the communities of these very poor farmers uh, to maintain their livelihoods by being able to predict, understand what the weather uh, was going to be and be able to predict what was going to happen. It was a two-way process. The communities um, were able to inform the climatology and meteorology and geophysical agencies about what data was most relevant and also to provide inputs to them. And the agencies are able to tailor the information to make it relevant and accessible to the communities needs. So the farmers and fishermen and salt producers yields um, have increased. Um, the farmers particularly have taken advantage of how to estimate crop yields and crop losses and uh, sort of mitigate the risks including uh, risks to production and, uh, and the market risks. Um, salt producers have taken on new technologies, something called salt prism houses, which will allow them to make uh, year-round production sort of regardless of the weather well, to some extent, lobster farmers have found alternative feed sources rather than relying on wild sources, which were sporadic due to weather events and climate differences. So all the people involved have been uh, had their livelihoods uh, made uh, more secure as a result of the uh, of the project. Um, in order to to maintain this, a climate working group has been set up by the project to uh, link with the provincial development body to climatology and uh, meteorology and geophysics agencies, the environment and forestry ministry and other NGOs working in the island and beyond. So we hope that this would just be a pilot and it will be able to be taken on later. Well, thank you for listening. Sorry it's been so intensive and so fast, but if you need any more information, just contact me at Islamic Relief. Thank you.